friends! I'm amazed by the number of challenges you've written to Tofu and me in the comments. You have some incredible ideas! Keep them coming! Who knows? One day, your comment might be chosen and featured in one of my videos. If you'd like that to happen, give this video a giant like. Tofu, let's enter the mansion! Friends, in the comments of the last video, there's an idea that keeps coming up. And it's none other than making a cat mansion house. If you want us to do it right, you have three seconds to subscribe and join this awesome community. Quick! In three, two, one, time! Yes, you are now part of our community. And as a reward, here's a totally free cat-themed decoration. Wow! <laughs> Tofu has been super nervous all day for this moment. No one has ever decorated a free house for cats, and I think our little feline friend really deserves it. Which area do you want to start with? Come on, I'll give you a few seconds to write it in the comments. By the way, have you seen my new sneakers? I know, they're the best, and they're free too. If you want to wear them too, you just have to go to the bakery and make dough until this cute little bear gets a spot on his cheek. Help him out and clean it with a napkin. He'll thank you with this super gift. It's a pastry chef kitty outfit. I love it. And now that we have the perfect outfit for this video, let's start with the kitchen. Yay! Let's change the floor and walls. I'll put this lighter gray on the floor. And I think this green will look great on the walls. Oh, Tofu. It seems like he doesn't want to miss any part of this decoration. How cute! I think I want the baseboards in this color. Oh, yes. I like it. Let's also change the sidewalls to green. Perfect. We've got it. It's time to place the furniture. The first thing will be this refrigerator. Cats love fish. And we need a place to keep it fresh and preserve all its nutrients. But I've also added some fruit. Tofu loves it. Delicious! Now, to store all the food, let's add this cabinet. Let's change the color. How about this one? No, better go back to the previous one. Great. Now I'll place this shelf from the furniture store on top. I'm sure we need to use another color here. Yes, blue works, but better darker. Let's position it properly. Okay. In the middle of the kitchen, I'll place this island. I think for a cat kitchen, it's the most functional and fun. Let's change the colors. Great, and this green. Here on this part of the wall, instead of placing a cabinet, I'm going to put these shelves at different heights. Cats love jumping from one place to another. Let's make them happy. Let's see what Tofu thinks. I knew it. But you have to wait, Tofu. We still have a lot to decorate. This plant up here. And this larger one will leave back here. In front of it, I'm going to place this mini island to match the other one we've placed. And up here, I'm going to put this cabinet with glass doors. Let's rearrange everything and place this little lion rug. And next to it, to give it a more natural feel, these two fir trees. I think we can also add another plant on this side. And let's make the pot gray. Even though we already have a refrigerator, I'll keep an extra one handy. Cats love fishing. And this kitchen needs a rug like this. A giant one. And in dark purple. Perfect. To make the space more fun, let's put this flag garland here. And let's start filling it with things. As a sculpture, like porcelain figures, I'll place this polka dot fish here. And next to it, we'll put this other one. Cats love fish. And this idea is perfect for them. On the lower cabinet, we'll put this pink pamphlet about pets. I'll add two bags of Tofu's favorite kibble. And since I'm sure he's going to invite all his neighborhood friends, I'll put different flavors so they have options to choose from. Tofu, come on, I'll give you some. A bag of salmon-flavored treats that are super nutritious for them. More food! I think this is mango gel! 
And we couldn't miss having three cans of tuna in this kitchen. And at the bottom, I'll put more treats of different flavors. They work for both dogs and cats. They're great! I'll also store several bags of seeds. They might not use it, but have you seen this mug? It could easily be Tofu's little paw. Just kidding, don't worry. And I'll add two more to create the perfect combination. Which one is your favorite? Oh, I've been wanting an excuse to put this trash can. It's awesome! On the island, I'm going to place this cute little table for cats. I'm going to leave a bag with banana pieces and also apple slices here. So tasty! And in this space, I'll put three mini plants. Be very careful. Some of them are toxic for cats. In a cat mansion, there has to be a fur ball like this. And also a vacuum cleaner that works 24-7. Plus, cats love to sit on it and ride around the house. Tofu, for example, can spend all day on it. Enough for today, Tofu. We need to finish the kitchen. Come on, over here. This kibble here is carrot-based. It's very good for their teeth. I'm not saying it, okay? It says so in this care magazine. I'll leave this little mouse here. Look, Tofu didn't take long to catch it. What an adorable animal. This ball of yarn is 100% for cats. And cardboard boxes are also something they enjoy a lot. Let's place these two bowls on top here. In them, I'll put treats to make them jump up here. And you know that cats, when they get together, can be quite a few? So, how about we make a row of rainbow bowls so all the visiting cats can eat? It looks really cool! And in this corner, I'll leave these three cat-shaped bowls ready. I'll fill them only with water. I'm going to fill them all up so that if any kitty is thirsty, they can hydrate quickly. We'll place them close to the wall and open the glass cabinet. Inside, I'll store extra bowls for any animal that comes to visit this cat mansion, be it a puppy, rabbit, or hamster, although I don't know if the cats will agree. Better not ask them. And friends, we now have the cat kitchen finished and full of food for at least a thousand cats. Oh, this challenge you asked for is becoming one of my favorite decorations. If you're enjoying it too, let us know in the comments. By the way, we are about to reach 30,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. If we ever reach that number, I'd even eat this raw shrimp out of sheer happiness. Ha ha ha! Anything for my friends on the channel. Hey, Tofu. Did you also see the comments challenging us to decorate the facades of the houses? Well, how about we decorate the door a little so all the cats in the city know that this mansion is for them? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! He likes the idea too! Friends, if you want us to decorate the other facades on the street, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video about it. It's a fantastic idea! By the way, I encourage you to keep writing fun challenges like this one. You've already seen that, even if you don't have any exclusive packs, you can decorate and create amazing places with me. Yay! Come on, let's put something on the door so all the cats in the neighborhood know they have an incredible mansion just for them. I always recommend moving all your furniture in these moving boxes. They fit everything, but be careful with your back. They're always very heavy. Oh, let's take it outside. Oh, boo! It's exhausting. Well, I think this multi-level platform with a scratching post is eye-catching enough to let everyone know that cats are welcome in this mansion. Also, I'm going to put this little bowl with water so that if they want to come in, they can drink without any problem. Oh, I forgot to get water from the mansion. Good thing we have this fountain on the street. Avatar World is amazing. Let's carefully place it at the entrance. And there we have it, friends. The housemaker mansion facade decorated for cats. Please put fish emojis in the comments so all the cats in the world know this exists for them. Wait a minute. It's very strange that Tofu hasn't come out to see how we're decorating the facade. What could he be doing? Tofu, why didn't you come out with me to the facade? Uh? 
I can't believe it! The first kitty just snuck into the mansion! Hello, little one! Welcome to the most incredible and free cat mansion in all of Avatar World! Do you want me to keep decorating this first floor of the cat mansion? If you want to see part two, write in the comments. I want part two. If there are many, I promise to continue decorating it. I read all your comments. And thanks for all the love messages that you always leave for Tofu and me. We love you very much. By the way, what name would you give this new kitty? Ha ha ha, grumpy at the very least. See you in the next video, guys. And another handful of kibble here. More? Oh, come on! All right, but only because you're the cutest kitty on YouTube. You want more? But Tofu, you have to eat just like the others. Okay, okay, don't get upset. Friends, if you think Tofu deserves another serving of kibble, give a like in three, two, one. Yes! Ha ha ha! Thanks to you, Tofu gets his way. Here you go! The whole bag just for you! Oh. oh, he's so grateful! No wonder the whole community loves him so much! Friends, I saw that you really liked the first part of the cat mansion! How exciting! But until I count the comments, I don't know if we can do the second part today! I hope we did it! Let's see! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, but there are so many. It's pretty clear that you want a second part. Tofu, what do you say? Should we keep decorating your mansion? That's a yes. Ha <laughs> ha. So let's not waste any more time and start the second part. But which room should we do? Tofu, you decide. Hmm, it looks like he's thinking about it. Oh, I think he changed his mind. Let's see. Oh, yes, he's decided on the living room, and I've already seen in the comments that it was one of the rooms you wanted, so let's decorate the cat mansion's living room, yay! First of all, let's change the floor to an even lighter one. Great! And let's not forget the window frames either. I want them to blend in, so I'll make them white. I'm also going to change the wall that separates the living room from the kitchen, much better this way, and the floor separation too. Time for the fireplace. I don't want it to stand out from the other furniture, so I'm going to go with gray. I think it's a good option, right? I'll stoke the fire a bit. Oh, yes, now there's more light. Great. Let's change the walls to a green color. I think this color reminds us more of nature. And the kitties will like it a lot. Let's also put white frames here. Now the other one. Perfect. I want this wall green too. While I keep changing the colors of the platform and the elevator, I want to inform you that no other kitties have come near the mansion. And that seems pretty strange to me. In the last video, you posted a lot of little fish to attract them and get them to come into the mansion. But it seems it wasn't enough. So please, I need you to post even more than in the previous video. I want to see all the comments filled with little fish. Because if the kitties don't come to this place, both Tofu and I will be super sad. Now let's put the furniture. On the windows, I'm going to put these curtains from the furniture store. The rainbows with polka dots are the best. Let's make them blue. And the cords, mustard yellow. I'm going to leave the glass doors open. I'm sure the cats will want them like that. And here, we need a lamp. And I love this one. It's so coquette, so elegant. Adore it. Now let's put this fluffy rug on the floor and I'm going to change its color to match the curtains. On it, I'll place this multi-level platform where our kitties can file their claws or sharpen them for hunting. Just kidding, of course, ha <laughs> ha! Let's add this little plant to integrate more with nature. And on the floor, I'm going to put this cushion with ears. This color is too brown, better leave it white. Sorry, Tofu, but I need you to come down from there for a second. We need to decorate the fireplace. And for that, I'm going to put this shelf that's built into the wall. I like it in pink, but I'd prefer it to be lighter. Now I'm going to place this beautiful bouquet of flowers. To get it, you just have to go to the new metro station and ask the magician to make a bouquet appear from his hat. It's an amazing trick! 
Let's put more flowers on the shelf. I'll place two of the same at each end. I want this place to be super beautiful. And in the center, this crystal ball with a kitty. Ha ha ha! I love this figure. Look how it moves its head. I really liked this pencil holder from the pet store. Have you seen these pens? I'm also going to put this Newton's cradle with rainbow colors. Cats love to watch moving objects. It makes them very curious. And since I love cats, I'm going to put this giant bed for all of them to be comfortable. Of course, we need to change the colors so that there's harmony with the rest of the house. How about this? I know, too much gray, but don't panic. With the cushions and little beds I'm going to add now, it will look super beautiful. See, little by little, it's transforming. It's amazing how a piece of furniture can change just by changing its colors and decorations, right? This reminds us of the millions of possibilities this video game has. I love it. This is a baby changing table, but I thought it would be funny to include it. Oh, I forgot to place this seat. Look, let's put it next to the platform to add a new height. It integrates super well, and it seems to have caught Tofu's attention. Look how he's climbing, haha. <laughs> Oh, now he's filing his claws. Oh, he's fallen asleep. Friends, you definitely have to include this platform in your decoration. Let's continue over here by placing this rug. Let's make it blue. And as we did before, let's put the same curtains on this window. Great. Now this little plant here. And next to it, I'll place this moon-shaped cushion. I want it in white. I love it. I'm also going to put this wooden stool. That way, I can place this frog bed higher up. Let's make it blue and place it on top. It looks great. And on the floor, I'm going to place this cushioned blue bed. And this pink one with a bow. And let's not forget to put another lamp here, like the one on the other side. Oh, let's put this floating bed. The cats are going to line up to sleep up here. On the platform, I'm going to put this little pink rug. And on this wall, I want to place all the clothes they have. And don't worry, everything I've placed is free. Let's make the shelf yellow, the cabinet blue, and the hooks green. Let's add this kitchen rack. It also works for clothes, in gray. And let's hang all the cat collars I found. They are awesome! And you can find them all in the same place. You just have to go to the school and grab the weight. Then go to the pet store and place it here. Grab the key and voila! You have an entire wardrobe with amazing outfits for your kitties. Next to it, I'm also going to place these three cat-faced boxes. And this one too, it's very cute. I'll put this unicorn costume on top of it. I can't fit any more looks on the rack. And all the clothes I haven't placed yet, which were also in the secret wardrobe, I'll leave on the platform. Oh, I'll leave this nigiri toy here. I'm also going to place this box with a pink bow. You can store things inside it too. Hey, look, Tofu wants to try on some cat outfits. All right, how about this lion one? Wow, Tofu, you're the king of the jungle. Let's try another one. How about this green dragon one? You look so funny, Tofu. Friends, how about we put a collar on Tofu? He never wears one and that can't be. Let's see, how about this one? It looks great on you. Wow, friends, we urgently need to choose a collar for Tofu together. Which one do you like best for him? I'm so undecided. For now, I'll leave this one on him. Oh, Tofu, I'm so happy that you finally have a decoration for you and your little friends. I'll always do my best to make sure you have everything you need. By the way, friends, I have some big news to tell you. We have reached 30,000 subscribers on the channel. We are growing very fast, and Tofu and I are very happy. We don't know how to celebrate it, but I think Tofu wants to have a party with his cat friends. It would be very fun. 
Although I'm not sure if I'm ready for them to fill the house with fur haha, -ha, but since Tofu is almost like a son to me, if he asks for it, we'll have to do it. It will be very fun. By the way, I think there's a new update coming out for Avatar World next week. I'm really excited to find out what it's about. Now let's finally finish this incredible living room decoration. If you want us to continue decorating the other rooms, subscribe to the channel to be able to watch all our videos. And don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified. You wouldn't want to miss it, right? Anyway, to finish, we'll decorate the elevator with these two cushions of two sleeping kittens. They are so cool! And now, friends, we have the living room of the cat mansion fully decorated. I never imagined it could turn out so beautiful. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? It's a meow. Oh, it's a kitten! Friends, a kitten just entered the mansion. That's because of the smell of our fish in the comments. How cute he is. Go ahead, enjoy what's already in the mansion. Friends, if you want the third part, right? I want part three. It's up to you if we continue decorating. We love you. Hey you, do you like cats? And also, don't have money to pay for any exclusive packs? Then stay and watch this video to find out how to decorate a cat mansion with free decorations. Yay! In previous videos, we've already decorated the facade, the kitchen. There's enough food here to feed a hundred cats. Ha <laughs> ha! It's very colorful. And also, we've decorated the living room to be the resting and relaxation area for our cat community. Oh, and we also created a dressing area to place all the kitty looks. Friends, all of this you see is free. So what are you waiting for? Get inspired and decorate your mansion. I assure you that all the cats in the city will come to visit. Oh, what's wrong, Tofu? Hmm, I understand. Friends, Tofu is telling me that he and his little friends are a bit bored. And the truth is, they don't have many toys around here. So, what do you think if we make them a playroom? If you want us to decorate it, give a like in three, two, one, yes! Thanks to your likes, we can decorate a new space. Come on, let's make it happen as soon as possible. Let's start by painting this wall dark gray. I know, it's a very bold color, but it's going to look great, I promise. And the frames of the glass doors, let's make them white. Great! The floor needs to be lighter, but maybe not too much. This is perfect. And this lamp, let's take it to the kitchen. I don't need it here, but let's change its color. Hmm, this one. Now let's put in some furniture. Since I want to create a shelf to place our kitty's toys, I'm going to put these shelves that integrate very well into the wall. And this way, we also gain space. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. And the last one, here. Try to place them as close together as possible so you don't have problems putting things on them later. I'm painting them randomly in green and white. But hey, you can paint them in any colors you want. Now, on this side, let's put a shelf with hooks. I want to hang many retractable wands to play with the kitties. It's one of my favorite toys for them. And this piece of furniture is perfect to keep them looking nice and tidy. Let's place this snake first. Or is it a worm? What do you think? This one is clearly a gray mouse. Over here, a butterfly? And lastly, this smiling bee. My favorite is the butterfly, what's yours? Now up here, I'm going to put this little plant I grabbed from the school. And tell me what you think of this idea. But I think bubbles can be a super fun game for the cats. They will all run to pop them, don't you think? I can't wait to try them out with them. Ha <laughs> ha! As always, in my decorations, you can copy it in your world exactly as I've done it. Or get inspired to create your own. Which I think is the most fun. Well, on this wall, I thought of putting lots of colorful bands so the kitties can climb up and down as much as they want like a staircase. I alternated three short bands and three longer bands. By combining different sizes and colors, we're going to create a super dynamic space, and against this dark gray wall, they're really going to stand out. Obviously, in this case, you can also choose other colors different from the ones I'm going to use. Although, there's not much variety. I wish there were more. Please, 
If you use this idea in your mansions, even if they are different, tag me on social media. I love seeing how you transform my ideas and make them your own. It makes me very happy. Ah, let's rearrange everything a bit. Great! Now, at the top, I'm going to add this cute little flower-shaped lamp in this color. And since I want everything to remind them of nature, I'm going to put this tree here. That way, they'll have another place to climb. I love this decor. This scratching post seems super original to me. It looks like the giraffe is eating the leaves of the tree. On the floor, I'm going to place this fluffy and cushioned rug so that when they jump from high up, they won't get hurt. And I'm going to make it white. Let's see what else. Oh, yes. I grabbed these three little sacks to store more toys. But first, I'm going to place this baby fir tree. Now, yes, first the purple one, then the yellow one, and lastly, the pink one. Cool. I'm also going to place this cactus-shaped scratching post right next to it. And on the blanket, I'm going to leave some toys like this ball of yarn. This little mouse with colorful feathers. Another toy, a wand with a feather ball. This kitty-shaped cube. And this fur ball, I'll leave it here. If there are cats, there has to be fur. Let's decorate these shelves now. This poster had to be here. It looks perfect. I also added this dancing plant. They will be mesmerized by its movements. A purple sardine and a red one. Look at the bandana this kitty is wearing. It's just like mine. A box with lots of multicolored balls of yarn. And next to it, this sleeping kitty. On the lower shelf, I'm going to put this matryoshka of three kittens. In the store, you'll only find the big ones since the little ones are inside. Oh, and in the smallest one, there's a super cute bow to put on your kitty. It's an amazing decoration for this mansion. Look at these two stuffed toys. One is a salmon nigiri and the other is a shrimp. They're going to love them. Now, let's decorate the side with the glass doors. I'll start by placing this hanging plant in white. Let's move it a little over here. Okay, now I'll place this plant right here. The pot is from the furniture store, and the plant is from a banana seed. Now, I'll place this one that I got with a red pepper. Let's also put this cheerful basket to store toys. If you want it too, go to the fireplace and click on the brick. Did you knew this secret? More nigiris, but this time in mini size. And also, this blue fish. Next to it, I'll place these colorful kawaii monsters. This poof reminds me of a sea urchin. I like it a lot too. And next to it, I'll put this bed with kitty paw prints. I adore this rainbow chew toy. I'm sure they will too. And for the floor, this leaf-shaped rug is perfect. But I'll make it a bit lighter. And I think we're done. Well, no, wait. I'm going to place another flower-shaped lamp. I really like how it looks. And if I put another one in a different color, it will look amazing. How about we make it blue? Yes! And we're done, friends. The playroom decoration is ready. Yay! Wow! This place we just created is amazing, friends. If you liked it too, let me know by subscribing to the YouTube channel. You know that in every video, I create a different free decoration, and many of them are challenges that you write to me. So if you don't want to be the last to know when there's a new video, hit the bell so you get notified quickly. Aye! Two new kittens have entered the mansion. I can't believe it. How can you be so cute? I mean, so cat-like. Look, everyone came out to welcome you. You will all get along great for sure. Oh, friends, thank you so much for all the little fish you wrote in the comments. The fish smell was real. Ha ha, you are the best. Thanks to you, all the cats in the city now know that they have a safe place here where they can sleep, play, or just rest. Let's see, I'm going to do a little test. Kittens, pay attention. If you do what I say, I'll give each of you one of these delicious sardines. But first, I think I need to name you. Okay, I think I've got it. You will be called Soha. You, Mochi, Wasabi, 
and you, Seitan. And yes, friends, all of you, including tofu, are named after Japanese cuisine. I love it. All right, let's get started. Let's test out this playroom. Seitan, file your claws on the giraffe scratcher. Yes, it works! Okay, Seitan, you can rest on the bed now. Here, have a sardine. All right, now Mochi, hide in the cube. Yes, I thought you wouldn't fit. Oh, look, he's fallen asleep. How cute! Well, I saved a sardine. <laughs> I knew he would wake up. Here, all yours. Okay, Soha, you climb up to the last platform, the highest one. I set up to the last one. All right, all right, don't look at me like that. That height is perfect. Here, your sardine. What a character. Wasabi, you try to catch this ball. Come on, let's go. Ha <laughs> ha. Almost. Yes, very good. You did very well, little one. Here you go. Tofu, you try to catch these bubbles. Come on, catch them. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, you're doing great. Here's your treat, cutie. Friends, what do we still need to decorate in the cat mansion? Oh yes, we still need to do the exteriors, the front garden, and the pool area. Are you excited to complete the cat mansion? Well, I need you to write in the comments. I want you to finish the cat mansion. If you comment a lot, I'll gift you the final part of this decoration. And that way, we'll all have a complete and free cat mansion. What else can we build for these kitties? Write it in the comments. I have a couple of ideas that might look great, and I'm sure they'll surprise you. Wait a minute, what's that smell? Is it fish? Oh, oh no, the cats are doing their business outside. Friends, we urgently need a litter box. Help me! Kitties! I bought more food for you. Ah! What? The entire mansion is filled with poop? No, no, no. The cats have done their business everywhere. This must be a horror movie. Ugh, it smells awful. And have you seen the size of this one? It looks like it's from a cow. Oh no, oh no. Friends, please. I need help to clean all this up and make it tidy again. If we don't manage to do it, I won't be able to complete the cat mansion. I'm going to do the countdown, and before it ends, you all have to subscribe. Please, let's go. Three, two, one. Yes. Look, all the poop is disappearing. Oh, I can never thank you enough for this. I'm going to cry. Thank you. What are you saying, Tofu? I see. Friends, Tofu is telling me that he's really sorry about what happened, but since there's no litter box in the mansion, they couldn't help it. Poor things. Friends, in today's video, we need to create one for them. In the city of Avatar world, they don't exist. And the kitties definitely need a litter box to do all their business. And what else can we build for them? Whatever you can think of, write it in the comments. While you do that, I'm going to build the litter box to finally solve this problem. I don't want to risk this happening again. So, let's build a cat litter box in the mansion. What do you think if we do it here? Yes, I think this little corner of the garden will be perfect. And to make a litter box, I'm going to place these logs one by one. With them, we'll mark the litter box area. It's a great idea, I know. How did I not think of this before? Where were the cats supposed to do their business? Oh, you can find them next to the fireplace. To camouflage the joints a bit, I thought of putting these leaves for feeding rodents. It looks like they came out of the ground, right? They look great. These two are in the pet store. And to make it look more realistic, I also included these that were in the lake. Oh, and this little yellow flower that I got thanks to these seeds. Let's place two fir trees at the entrance of the mansion. One here. Tofu, I need space. And the other on this side. Perfect. I'm also going to place these little flowers here. Plant these seeds and you can have them. To pick up the cat poop, we need a shovel and a bucket. And so, when we're done, we'll throw everything in the bucket and problem solved. It's in the daycare. Now. Let's change the color of the walls and the door. We'll leave the path a bit lighter. And the decorative stones too. Let's continue decorating the garden. I'm going to put these pink flowers here as well. 
Now I need to place a tree in this garden. It makes the space more pleasant, doesn't it? And I'm sorry, but I saw this cute little snail and couldn't resist putting it here. I'm also going to place leaves coming out of the stones. And over here, this pink tulip that I planted in the yellow house. More leaves here. And in this area, let's place this rug. Satan, make some room for me. Let's tone down the color of the rug a bit. And on it, let's put this amazing scratching tree. And pay attention to what we're going to do. Look, if we place these flower beds here, it looks like it's all one piece, right? It looks fantastic. And to make it cuter, I'm going to place some leaves and little flowers around. This little white one is so special. More leaves here, red flowers, and this daisy cushion. And friends, this is the first time I'm doing this. But since this garden is a natural place where many kitties will live together, we have to make it as realistic as possible. That's why I brought this firefly and these two lovely butterflies. They are in the camping area. And finally, cat garden finished. What did you think of this decoration idea? If you liked it, give the video a like. And what about you, kitties? Do you like this space? Oh, Tofu loved it. <laughs> Good boy. All right then, let's inaugurate the litter box. Don't tell me you don't feel like it now. Come on, please. It would make me so happy. <sighs> All right, I know what you want. Fine. If you inaugurate the litter box, I'll give each of you a salmon treat. Ha ha ha. Look how quickly they went. They sure know. Oh, friends. Look, they did it inside. Our decoration worked. How cool. Yes. Come here, cuties. This is for you. Cute! They want to thank me with cuddles for this place! I'm melting! But come on! Let's keep up the pace! We still have one more room to decorate! And that's the pool! Oh look! Wasabi and Mochi want to see how we decorate it from the front row! How cute! Anyway, it's obvious that the pool has to be here. But it's also obvious that many cats are not friends with water. So, what do you think if instead of decorating a pool, we decorate a lake? Yes! You heard right. Now I'll show you the steps to make it happen and completely change the idea we have of this area of the Housemaker Mansion. Oh, Wasabi wants us to start decorating already, haha. Huh? Well, let the decoration begin. The colors of the pool aren't bad, but I'd like to balance everything with softer tones. So we'll put this beige color on both floors. Phenomenal. And the pools, I think I'll go for this light pink. Yes, I like it. The fountain vase is too dark. Better like this. And the wooden pergola, also pink. And now the fun begins. To transform the pool into a lake, we need to cover the ladder and also set the ambiance. Please, Mochi, move to this side. As I was saying, these two trees will help us achieve that. I'm also going to place this floating bed. Wasabi, come here. With this bed, we'll also cover the pool. It's great. Now let's put all these little fish in the water. Yes! Little by little, this is becoming a different place, right? Wasabi, what do you think of this lake? Ha! I knew it! You're going to be super entertained! Now, let's place this pot that I got from the furniture store and where I planted a banana seed. Next to it, let's place this little plant from the house maker. More leaves here as decoration. And in this part, I'm also going to add these two fireflies. A moon-shaped rug. And more leaves. In front of them, I'm going to put two beds so the kitties can relax while watching the fish. Let's place wasabi and mochi in them. That way we can finish decorating the back part. Here, I want to create a cat hygiene area. So for that, and knowing that there will be many kitties here, I've placed this pool from the pet store. Let's also add this leaf-shaped rug. What a surprise, right? And I'm also going to place two bathtubs that I'll fill as I put them. More decorations to make it look like a natural space. A butterfly on this side, and another firefly, and why not? Another little tree here. 
Now let's place two pieces of furniture with this design that you can get at the furniture store. We'll paint them light blue and put all the products our kitties might need. From soaps to hair conditioner and treatments for every skin type. Since every cat that comes to this mansion will need different care. Oh, and also, have brushes to groom them so they have nice and shiny fur. And let's not forget the towels. These have very fun patterns. Look at this penguin one. I adore it. Cologne. More and more towels. Can't have enough. And we also need to have some cleaning products here. Final touches. And friends, we've finished decorating the lake area. Yay! Wow. Friends, are you aware of what we just did? We decorated an entire floor of the Housemaker Mansion for cats. And that's not even the best part. The best part is that we didn't have to buy any packs to do it. And it's not just because it's my channel, but this is an amazing and very pet-friendly decoration. I'm so excited. If you are too, join the YouTube community and subscribe. If you do, you'll have tons of decorations to copy in your own city. We are already more than 150,000 subscribers, and I can't believe we're going to reach 200,000. It's amazing. And now, what decoration do you want me to do next? Write all your ideas and challenges in the comments. You know that Tofu and I are up for anything. And if you know someone who loves decorating, send them this video so they can watch it. Oh, all the kitties are coming to thank me for this place. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Thank you for giving me so much love, kitties. I'm going to miss you so much. Well, I'm off now. Tofu, you're coming with me, right? You're not coming with me? Hmm, I see. The truth is, this place is perfect for you. And you're surrounded by all your little friends. It's okay. I understand perfectly. You'll be happy here. Oh, friends, I'm so sad. I'm going to miss Tofu so much. Sob, sob. Huh? Tofu, is that you? Does that mean... <laughs> oh, thank you for choosing me. I love you so much.